It could take several months to unpack the details of this new law, but what appears certain is that it will be in place in time to start making a difference as early as this fall. Local school districts across the state spend the entire year looking for qualified teachers. Even so, most still face shortages, no matter how many new educators they put on the payroll. It's a concern that led to an education shortage bill, which became law on July the 1st. It's going to mean, hopefully, that we fill a lot of vacancies in teaching. Baltimore County Delegate Eric Ebersol says the new education law is a giant first step toward addressing the teacher shortages. So there are several parts to it. There's uh, increased loan forgiveness. There are scholarships that are going to be offered to people who are in colleges in Maryland and are going to go into education and commit to two years. The law will also set aside up to $20,000 to help teacher interns graduate and land jobs. That's a key feature for schools like Morgan State University. So many of our students, closer to the end of their, their, their four years at Morgan, particularly during that internship year, would, would leave the major because of barriers would cost the certification, getting to the internship, have enough money to eat, and just living a, a good life. A few months ago, Morgan State graduate Jalen Bridgeforth lobbied state lawmakers to add a financial feature to the legislation. So if we can get more educators in the classrooms, if having a stipend will encourage people to become education majors, then everything is good in my book. The state is already putting up $15 million a year to support the new education shortage law. To learn more about this new law, go to our WBAL TV 11 News app. On the campus of Morgan State University, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News.